Um, let's go. Let's move over to this this black owned and operated app. Somebody gonna want to shoot me. Knock on wood. That don't happen. This this is um it's it's an app, and it's sort of a bank, but it's not a bank. So it's an app that's connected with a bank, which is a different institution than the people that own the app. Killer Mike is involved in it. Um. Andrew Young, who used to be the mayor of Atlanta, is involved in it. There's some other, there's some big name black people that's involved with this. And I guess the idea is that it's called Greenwood because that's named after the Black Wall Street thing, right? And they want to help concentrate black wealth and help other black people out. And we, it's, you can get a loan here, you can bank over here and get a return on your investment and stuff like that. And I see this. But then I see all these complaints. I'm going to read some of the reviews. Do not bank with Greenwood. There is no benefit to do so. They will hold deposits and refunds longer than necessary and give you excuses like, we do not see a deposit. If the wait time for a refund or a deposit of 7 to 10 business days, count on waiting that entire time. Not worth it. I experienced fraudulent charges and they refuse to conduct a diligent search to return my money. I have not been able to contact anyone and have been getting the runaround so sad that this socially conscious company is literally taking advantage of people it claims to serve. Somebody with a headline that said missing money, they won't pick up the phone. I'm a young black man who works very hard and I was on the waiting list for this card. Worst experience ever. They won't release my money from a transfer from my Marcus Savings account. I have called. No one picks up. The worst feeling is knowing that these people are your people, which clearly doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> he said, back to the white man bank accounts, I go. <laughs> please, <laughs> please stay far away. Still waiting for my money. An email and a call. God bless. He left him on a good note. <laughs> Be, well. Be blessed. And that I could have I could have read 15 more. Wow. All, every one of them is one star reviews. Mm. This is a it's page is a one star review about this. Killer Mike got his name on it. Damn. That's not has he spoke on it? I should have did a better job and found out. <laughs> But I did not. If in fact you are involved in something uh, that is supposed to be for the betterment of your people, again, it seems like the word of the day is responsibility. You truly have to do your due diligence to make sure that it serves your people the way that you intend on it serving your people. Now that I find out that it's not an actual financial institute, it's kind of like a middleman. You know that, like, the middleman, if I send Willie James uh, $500 on Cash App, but I really meant to send it to Miss Pam, right? but I was a, a letter or number off in the, you know, in his moniker or whatever, you know Willie James ain't got to be like, yo, bro, you got that money back. I know you didn't really mean to send this to me. Nigga, you dead. Just to clarify, Killer Mike is a founder with the yeah, other dude. So that's true. it's not just his name on it. He is oh, yeah, the this, founder, this is which bad. makes it 10 times worse. And yeah. um, it says, it says, first of all, that Coastal Community Bank is their partner, and uh, the insurance is only up to $250,000 per depositor. When normal banks offer, like, the insurance is in the millions. Because it sounds like the one guy, he actually got some bread. You know what I'm saying? He ain't tripping. He like, yo, of course I want my bread, but uh, back to the white man bank for me. This cat actually got some money. So it ain't like Wanda who want to get her check two days earlier than normal <laughs> by getting a rush card. You know, this is a totally yeah. different situation. Speaking, of, speaking of rush, remember what happened with the rush card? <laughs> Lower <laughs> your own people. Lower <laughs> your own people. That, ain't that yeah. why he down in motherfucking... Wherever the fuck he's at right now, doing yoga, doing yoga, because he took all the people money from the rush card. I had to get out of Dodge, bro. With Andre three thousand standing next to him playing the flute. Yep. 
Yeah, people took L's. People took some L's with that shit. You know what yes, I mean? they did. Yes, yeah. they did. But like, listen, not only did people take L's, a certain type of person took L's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The people who who needed it now. Right. I know, I know that check hit on Friday. Yeah. Morning at whatever time, but I show could use it on Wednesday. Right. A certain type of person got hit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it wasn't fair to them. Niggas that never listened to LL Cool J or the Beastie Boys in their life. You know what I mean? They just saw some shit on BET. You know what I mean? But the niggas that grew up with that shit was like, man, eh, you know, I'll hold off. I'll keep my shit over here at fucking Chase. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It, it worked because I ain't got time. Look, Russ, I love you. I'm not about to give you all my money. We're going to wait a few years. We'll see how this shit go. You know what I mean? But almost as soon as that shit caught, it was like, niggas like, where my money at? <laughs> yeah. Y'all what remember when, when the Cash App was new and that shit crashed right after everybody put their motherfucking tax returns in it? And you still, just like what Matt was saying, too, you send the wrong person money on Cash App, you can't get your money back. So, Listen, yeah. I don't never leave no money in Cash App. If somebody, <laughs> like, say they say, hey, hey, Pete, yo, yo I, you know, it's time to pay for your session. What you want to do? Listen, you a nigga. You a, you a, you the, moment, a nigga. the moment it hit my account, I cashed that shit you out. Mean, you, a, you, a, you a nigga just like the rest of it. <laughs> what you, what you do? I take Cash App. Zell, Venmo, I take all that shit. You kidding me? Let me tell you something. You cash at me some money, I'm cashing out immediately. I'm not giving you a chance to change your mind. You're not changing your mind. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. But you can't though. That's what I'm saying. Cash app, they can't take it back. Know what I mean? Yo, like even yo, even through your even through your bank. Like if I sell you some bread, Mike, that's your bread. It don't matter whether I meant to give it to you or not. That's your bread. Dollar sign, my power is global. That's my cash app. Five minutes later. Listen, in most situations, government situations, street situations, always keep your fucking eye on the money. But uh, yeah, I didn't, I mean, I didn't really, I didn't, luckily I didn't myself invest that much because I don't, I'm not going to invest in something that I'm not at least somewhere above the, the amateur level when it comes to that shit. But Prince, why are you yeah, so fucking because black, I French? didn't look on French. one Hold day. On, babe. Hold on, babe. French. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, French? Relax. No, you relax. What do you say, relax? Relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> Fuck you mean? Fuck you, I'm relax, about to do. Nigga, fuck you mean relax? It's I'm, black as fuck over there. The fuck is the definition of relax? That's what I mean. What the fuck I'm fuck just saying, how many people is on this show? One of them, you, you look like a goddamn... Here, bro, the light went out. Relax, nigga. Okay. You, is it a bulb thing? Don't you have an editing program or something, nigga? Fuck out of here, nigga. You mean you want me to lighten up just your box? No. Move the camera to somebody whoever's talking at the time when that happened. You know I know how to do a damn close-up. He's so, spying so, on you. So, 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 you know how to do a close up. So why are you asking me dumb questions? Because I don't. You, I don't want you to force me to do a fucking close up in the middle of this. By the time I get to this part of the fucking edit, I might have did like. I might have carpal tunnel right now, and I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, now nah, French gonna make me fucking edit now. Stop whining, nigga. Tough titties. It's part of the job. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no. <laughs> niggas I'm edit every day, B. You hear this, nigga? I'm talking about I'm talking about your black ass fucking box. Can you see ugly. me now? Hold on. Can you see me right now? French, first fucking show. You was doing shit. You was off camera. You left an empty fucking box. You're unprofessional. We Why are you bringing up this. old shit? The fuck is wrong with you right now? That was two years ago. Oh, Damn. Episode 29. That was 20. What we at? 29? This is 20, that was episode yeah. two. That was 28 <laughs> episodes ago, nigga. <laughs> Do you want to share with us why you turning off the lights? I didn't cut off the light. The light oh, yeah. cut itself off. It's on a timer. Reloaded. He got smart lights. <laughs> I didn't move enough. You know what I'm saying? I was you, 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 you rationing lights? Nah, oh. nigga. That's how the shit work. <laughs> you don't have the clapper? What did I don't, you have, no, I don't, I don't have clap. Thank you very much. Somebody got explained to me. <laughs> So he got to explain to me what he's talking about. Did he say his lights got timers on them? Mm -hmm. He said All his right. cell phone light went off. Like, have so if you're not doing anything right now, where no, I'm, I mean, where, the way I'm situated, let me just explain this shit to your dumb ass real time. Mm -hmm. Where I'm situated at, the mm -hmm. light that's, 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 that I'm using right now is actually another screen behind this particular screen. 
You okay. So if I don't move the mouse every couple of minutes, it goes into sleep mode, sleep mode. like most computers do. Okay, shit. They say you got a bootleg rig. Nah, nigga. That's because it's <laughs> definitely not bootleg. But you make it up. You I make it a mountain out of a, <laughs> of a out of a molehill and shit over a fucking light. When it's you a U-Mag. That you can fix it with it's a, not a U-Mag. edit. Reloaded. It's French. It's Mav. It's Beans. We still wearing the same clothes. Beans smell like a fish market. What about this shit about too old to rap? Okay, I washed my... It might be more like some Funyuns or something. Not the Funyuns. But I will never smell like a fish market, okay? My pH is balanced at all times. Too old to rap. So So look, I came across this guy. Smelling right now, you got cheese grown in your butt hair. Because if I'm stank and you've been in those same clothes, man, listen. I'm naturally aromatic, but I'm on IG one day. I'm on (laughs) IG one day, and this is got Hip Hop Wolf. I'll be on his page, and it was a big. It's like he do these big headlines. So I see this big headline. I see a picture of this guy, and they talk about this guy wardrobe with this single. Comment section say the dude paid for the promo. I don't. I wasn't even paying no attention to that until I went to the comment section. But they was on it hard promo on this guy's music. So I went and listened to this guy's song. Have y'all listened to this guy's song? Is his name even in the notes? I I yeah. heard some of it. I didn't hear any of it. The song called Spooky. I don't know if that's what the song was called. Yeah, it was called the Did I miss gentleman. something on the notes? Because um, I didn't see that neither. He was all on top of cars and stuff. Don't y'all think we should all see the song so we can be familiar with what the heck we talk about on this one? Play it. Spin no camera, blue bandana, nigga, I'm Tupac. You ain't got to go to the bar, nigga, to get shot. Just wear the wrong colors in the wrong spot. Claiming they hood don't own a house on the block. It's a lot of motivation in these rich bum socks. Give me my blue roses, love me, love me not. Play with my paper, you might be found in the box. The Rolex watch came with the papers in the box. I feel like this nigga flow really fell off on the second verse, but... When was it ever on? <laughs> that sounded like my first rap, like... Too old to stop rapping, perhaps? The comment section... Underneath that post on Hip Hop Wolf about this shit, they was they was murdering him. This dude said this nigga came in the game with an AARP card. I mean, and, and you know Bro, what? It you looks like something? it was pulled from the fucking eighties in somebody's first video. So I mean, <laughs> yo, the they sample. started sending me AARP shit about a year ago. <laughs> it's just right, but it's funny, right? When they it, anytime you mention AARP, that's funny. Somebody else said, somebody tell this old ass nigga to sit the fuck down. Come on, nobody want to hear their grandfather rap. Is what somebody said. So they talk about the age issue again. Somebody said awful rapper. Somebody said kid on the sax is good, and somebody said age has nothing to do with the fact the song is trash. That that, that part. part, yeah. Somebody else said him and Benzino should collab. Ah! <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, <laughs> somebody, and this is the last. This is the last comment that I copy and pasted. Somebody on this page said, "How old is this Negro?" The rapping version of "Bruh Man" from Martin. Oh, I just want to make a sandwich. Listen. Oh, floor. The flow. Is he from the fifth or the floor? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yo. <laughs> nah, I'm going to tell you what was sent me. The close-up of the pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> As baller? Listen, <laughs> man, that was pizza me rolling. Oh, was... <laughs> you, 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 you really, you undercutting my man. It wasn't the fact no, that he I'm had a pizza. That's just, you know, they, they, they sit in front of a main back, you know what I'm saying? They pop a champagne in the parking lot and then a close up to a close up of a pizza. Bruh, it ain't just a pizza, my nigga. Everything's on it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is on it. Everything in this in that store is on that pie. Y'all niggas, niggas ain't get, y'all niggas ain't get the, the beefed out pies and shit, nigga. Come on, oh nigga. Real talk. 
Them niggas ain't living like this with the garlic sticks. Thing. Uh, you know how much uh, them toppings <laughs> cost? Extra pepperoni, nigga. All that. <laughs> Yo. Meat lovers. Pause. <laughs> I ain't got to pause a motherfucking thing. She said, I'm, I'm, she's not I'm a meat lover. I was a meat lover yesterday. I'm a meat lover today. Pause. I'm saying pause. This, this, somebody might edit that. You know that mean? is yeah. vagrant. This is going to get edited out. That is vagrant. Gonna edit out your pause. Oh, wait. It's all staying in. I rarely edit these shits out. It's, I'm but, sorry. It's all staying in, all the meats. I, I, I already know. That's, you know, nah. I'm leaving it in. All the meat. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> you, Yo, it wow. you earned you earned it. I'm leaving it in. Listen. Oh, oh, we. Oh, oh. Wait, you were talking to French? And Frenchie <laughs> no. earned it enough for you to leave the oh, meat oh, bed. Oh, this is all oh, this is, this is, this is, Betsy, listen. what has been going on? I, I'm breaking the pause button right now. This is pause deluxe edition. Oh, we. <laughs> Am I blurry? Am I, I gotta get out of frame. Don't change the subject. <laughs> so this story, this is the reason why I want to talk about this. Aside from the fact that I may have mistakenly spun this song on my live show. You did. Mistakenly? <laughs> you let the whole yep, thing you ride? Did. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> I might have played that song. I might have not been on my best the the day I chose that to go on the playlist. It happened. My apologies to the hip hop community. Um, my 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 apologies to hip hop on this 50th anniversary. Um, unforced error on my part, but the age issue. It was a lot of people in the comment section talking shit about age. Now, a lot of us, we own pages where people have an understanding. They appreciate some of these guys is over 30, over 35, getting it in. Right. We know a lot of people that's over 35 getting it in no, right I'm now. I'm about to be 47, bro. Whoa. Yeah, I'm old. See? Right. See? And I wouldn't even know that. A lot of people, <clears throat> listen, young niggas, when they run up on me, they be like, yo, bro, you look good. Pause. I had no idea. Nah, no. Listen, pause. if you if mind. you are comfortable with you know your sexuality, you ain't gonna fucking pause Back compliments, though. okay? Nah. And it. I think the only thing that age has to do with in this situation is if you are at a certain age and you do happen to look that age, you should probably have some sort of structure where it's not sounding like your my my that Fisher age. Price fucking rap track. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like. The, the the beat was mediocre. His flow was mediocre. He had on skinny sweatpants, yeah. which I will never understand in my fucking life. I don't care how old I am. OK, but the bottom line is if, if anybody's going to bring age into it, it's because if you're going to be at a more seasoned age and you come out like that. Yeah. Like your song sounds you. dated. You're setting yourself up for that. Dated. Age. It, 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 like, it sounds a part really of old. Me. Right. I guess hip hop will promote this twice on their page. Um, do you think that like uh, wardrobe? Way. You think wardrobe pay for that? You pay like you way. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Because otherwise, you got to put a good reason up. Like, hey, this man might be older and stuff like that, but you know, he, he's he's showing something. Like, give give a reason that he's doing it. Because to me, that sounded like a fucking Saturday Night Live spoof track. So, oh shit! And let's, and let's 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 understand this. <laughs> a lot of your favorite rappers right now are in their fifties or knocking on the door fifty. Mm -hmm. So what, what are you saying right now that anybody's too old to rap? No, nah, but if if you if you have, add a certain but, age, you gotta have some sort of structure. You can't right. just come out sounding no, no, I'm like not, that. I'm not, I'm not defending this dude at all. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. Where where, where are we at with it? <laughs> our favorite Prince rappers Hitler. are in Prince their fifties. Prince said, let's be clear. I'm not defending this nigga. Let's right. Let's my clear. thing is, if you coming out, if like, if you's going to start rapping at that age, you got to be <laughs> fucking phenomenal. You got to be. Like this shit. Well, at a, least, at a, least have something period. good to accompany it. Because the video, it looks like a grandpa would have shot that shit and thought it was amazing. And that dude, just because he got some grain in his beard, for all we know, he might have just had a rough life. That motherfucker right there might only be 32. I mean, I'm sure I'm wrong there, but... 40, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just assume... About 46. 
Listen, no, that's not, I mean, and I don't, I don't, I don't know this. I just, I'm black, and I can look at him. <laughs> Mike said you about forty six. Who's I? I mean, I, I'm, I'm just saying, like the the, the quality of the shot. video looks like it looks like you know he shot that shit thirty years ago, but it's current, so it's like the man owns a Maybach, so. Who cares? I, wait, 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 I know people out. who owe Maybach. You know Maybachs are Maybach. not the most expensive cars, just so y'all know. Like, yeah, I'm just saying. Beans just went all in on that. She just, I didn't. I, you I don't can lease the Maybach. I don't believe for a second that he owns a Maybach. Is there a cutoff age for like when you can't enter the rap game? Says who though? You know what right. I'm saying? I feel like we, and we maybe not. We the only that do that shit to our artists. Yes. Right. Truly, the only truly. one. Listen, I seen a rap concert. Old boy came out on stage in a wheelchair and a nurse. Are you shitting me? Stop I playing, French. No, and this Play dude like damn much. Super, no, this dude is super I believe famous. You. Was it I Blind Fury? You. Was it Blind Fury? Nah, I don't remember. Like one of them metal kind of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like heavy metal. You know what I'm saying? Real oh, you talking about a heavy metal guy? Right. I'm, sorry. I'm yeah, just listen, saying, my man, thing you is know, this. like I said, we the only people that do that shit to our artists. Truly. But, the, but the the white boys, they can rock until they one foot in the grave, the other on a banana peel. They can die on the stage. And, people and, gonna and be it's like, it was a awesome. hell of a show. Hell what's of your, a show. He gave us all. What's your man who used to bite the heads off of bats? What's, what's I was gonna say Ozzy Osbourne. He's yep. still. Ozzy. But yep. but I mean the the people you want to look at is like the Rolling Stones and them. Some of them motherfuckers Real be tough. looking like straight skeletons on They're stage, but they listen, still perform. Rolling Stones. Not only do are they still performing and touring, they selling out fucking stadiums. They're in their eighties. They're in their eighties, selling out shit. You know what and, I mean, and, and nobody in the crowd is going, "Yo, that motherfucker too old to be doing this shit." Nobody. Did Griselda kind of open that door though a little bit, like along with the. Usher in that more lyrical East Coast grimy, you know, making that, you know, more mainstream than what it was. The fact that they was all well past 30 when they I, I think through. for our for you know our they, realm of hip hop, and I'm sorry to just jump in and say this, but one of the biggest things for me that that the reason that I, I never kind of gave up dependent on I mean, going on like my age when when I came to a certain age and I wasn't really where I wanted to be, but Neo didn't come out performing until he was 30. He has been writing for people forever. But Neo came out with his dancing and all that shit when he was about 30. So, you know, that's coming going back however many years now. So I think Griselda opened the door for um for the, the people that were kind of doing this shit for a long time and never really got to that level of fame. It probably gave some people some confidence and shit like that. But I don't think they opened the door really so much because we still have rappers out there doing it. You see, you know, Jay-Z going out there and then and, and not missing a fucking step. I think um, one of the biggest problems and, and one of the reasons that the, the ageism happens a lot is because people are lacking in performances. That's the problem is that people are dropping CDs and shit like that. You don't have like Jay-Z's always put on a show. Nas has always put on a show. You know what I'm saying? So if you can actually perform and entertain the crowd until you're you're six feet deep or whatever it may be, you can perform. And I I don't. That's why I think that the only time it's really brought up is when when somebody's at a certain age and they ain't really doing shit when it comes down to it. Mav, you gonna say something? I I yeah. think you know what I'm saying. When they came in, like you couldn't really criticize Griselda for anything because they brought. You know what I'm saying? Something fresh. They brought their, you know, their brand of hip hop, unapologetic. Just so happened they were over 30 years old, and everybody, even the the legends, gravitated towards it. Like, yo, these motherfuckers are refreshing. They used Griselda to revive their own shit. Yeah, they gave them all of the accolades, and then they also got features from them. You know what I'm saying? It was an honor to be, you know, accepted into that realm, I'm sure, by Griselda. But all of these guys that, you know, when we talk about old school hip hop, truly old school hip hop, you know what I'm saying? All of these guys ended up getting features from Griselda, you know what I'm saying? Because Griselda was the 
the fresh new coat of paint that hip hop needed at that time. Griselda's emergence uh, had light being shed on other parts of upstate New York as well as Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit, I've sold a shitload of records, you know what I'm saying, because of Griselda's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, nah, they didn't necessarily open the, the door for people to come into the game at 30 plus years old, but um, they definitely brought something to the game, you know what I'm saying? Where some of us who may be a little older than everybody else, shit, I'm a lot older than everybody else, and I benefited from the emergence of Griselda, but I also didn't just come around either. What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers? The intro king. It's Powers. The almighty. Ripping the best in the fucking.